Hi there, everyone. This is Jen, and I am back with another Practice Better Hack video. Today, I'm going to show you how you can nurture your leads in Practice Better using an email only program. This creative use of our programs feature is great for those of you who may want to use Practice Better to deliver uh, a lead magnet or a freebie offering, as well as set up an email sequence to actually nurture and follow up with those who opt in for that freebie. Setting up an email only program requires access to the plus plan as we'll be using an evergreen program to set this up. An email only program is great because it doesn't actually require your prospects to log into practice better at all. So it's all just delivered via email notifications. There's a few different ways and many different ways you could use an email only program, but in this example, I'm going to show you how to deliver a form as a freebie or a lead magnet and then deliver a sequence of follow up emails using the program modules themselves. All right. So in this case, let's say that the form that you want to deliver as a freebie is a free gut health assessment. So I've already set this up in my platform under forms here. So I'm just gonna navigate there now. And you can see the gut health assessment is just right here. Now, the one thing that I wanna actually highlight with this um, is that you'll, you know, of course, you'll come in and you'll build out the assessment. And here I've just got one question just for the sake of this example. But what's really important to highlight is this additional options tab here. And so here is where you can actually include a redirect URL um, once the client completes that form. So as soon as they fill out the form and they hit submit, they'll be redirected to whatever URL you put into this field here. Um, and so in this case, I've just put a link to um, a download in my Google Drive that's a gut health action plan. So that's just one example. So you could, you could redirect them to sort of a free results um, action plan. You could even in this... Um, um, field here, redirect them to book like a results session with you. So that could actually go to a booking page for a certain service of yours, um, if that made sense for you. So you can utilize this field, however, um, you know, kind of makes sense in the way that you're going to use this. Okay. So now that we've got that form set up, the next step is to actually go into our programs and create the email only program. So I'm going to head there now. And I've got this already set up here um, and I've named it just free gut health assessment. Um, so I'm just gonna go into edit. And again, just as a reminder, this is an evergreen program is how you're going to do this um, because you want um, this to sort of be um, happening um, in real time in terms of the client could you know, sign up for this at any point and receive the content uh, versus having it start and end on a calendar date. So that's why you'd want to use the evergreen option. So I'm naming this program, um, the name of the freebie um, to the client who's downloading this. It's just going to look like a free, they're opting in for a free thing. Like they're not going to see that this is a program in any way. Um, Cause again, they're just gonna be receiving the email notifications and I'm gonna walk you through all of that. So you can just title it as whatever the name of the freebie or the lead magnet is. Um, if you want to include a description, you can do that. Um, that will be visible to them on the um, opt-in or uh, registration page for this freebie. In this case, like the duration, this is irrelevant here. It doesn't matter what you put. That won't be viewable by anyone who downloads this because again, they're not going to have access to the Practice Better platform. Um, this will just be all delivered by email. Scrolling down to payment options. So because we're talking about this as sort of a lead magnet or a freebie, of course, you'll want to put $0 here. Um, you can choose if you want to display that it's $0 on the booking page, or if you just want to hide that fee altogether, um, that's up to you how you want that to look. Um, and then scrolling down here to this next section, registration options, this is really key. Um, so this is one of the really important um, settings that you'll want to turn on. Um, so you'll want to enable hide modules on program registration page. And that's just to ensure that again, when they're opting in for this freebie, they're not going to see any of the names of the modules um, when they're doing that. And so they, again, they won't know that this is like a program um, in that way, okay? 
So that's an important piece to mention. All right, so next let's go ahead and actually look at the program modules themselves. Um, so I've got a few set up here. And this is how we're actually going to deliver the emails uh, for this. Um, so the first module you're going to want to set up, so I'm just gonna go in here. You're going to want to ensure that you set this up to unlock at a scheduled date um, so that you can um, send actually this welcome email when the module starts. And because with this, you'll want them to get it like as soon as possible. So you can just set it to one minute after they enroll and that will deliver this to them right away. Um, and then this again, sending a welcome email when the module starts is the key. So this is where we're actually gonna put all of the content that we wanna deliver to them um, as part of this freebie or this lead magnet. So I'm just going to go into edit template here so you can see what I've done. Um, and so, yeah, the email subject, you'll want to just customize that to what makes sense for how you're going to use this. For this one, I just put you're in, complete your free gut health assessment because that's sort of the, the freebie that they're receiving is that assessment. Um, you can add a title. And then this is another really important setting you'll want, you'll want to ensure that you enable is hide the view module button. So typically, um, if you don't have that enabled, then when they receive this email, they will see a button at the sort of the bottom of the email that says view module. In this case, again, it's an email only program, so you don't want them to see that, right? So we're gonna hide that. Scrolling down, you can actually build out the body of the email here. Um, and so you can sort of see what I've written. It's just sort of, you know, greeting them, letting them know I'm excited that they've opted in for this freebie. Um, and then the key part here, again, with this example, is that we have decided to deliver them a form as the freebie, which we just looked at um, before we went into the program here. So what I've done is I've just copied the link to the form and actually put that right into the copy um, of this email. And so that will be sort of their call to action when they receive this email is to click that link. They'll be directed right to that form to complete that assessment. And then again, they'll be, once they submit that, whatever redirect link you put into the form, they will be directed there afterward. Okay. So this is sort of the first step. Now, if you aren't delivering a form, you could always put a link to something else that's sort of the freebie um, in this email. It's sort of whatever um, works for your um, workflow and sort of what you're looking to provide to them. But again, we're putting the link to the form because that's sort of what we're using for this example. Okay. All right. Great, so we'll go down here. And that's pretty much all you need to know. The one thing I will mention is that um, you don't need to, to pay attention too much to any of these tabs. The only situation where you may wanna add some copy into the content um, section here is if you think that perhaps a current client who does have access to the platform may opt in for this. In that case, you wanna just maybe even copy the exact um, you know, details you put into the email and put that right into the content um, text section. And that way, if the, the current client does opt in for this, and then they happen to go into their portal, they will see that they have this uh, program um, as an option for them to view in the portal if they already have access. So just putting sort of reiterating the content you put in the email into the text content is a great option just to make sure that if they do come into the portal and see the program, um, that it won't be just empty kind of thing. Okay. That was just the one thing to mention. All right, so let's go ahead and go save changes here. Um, and we're gonna head back to um, our modules. Now, the next step is to basically just add additional modules that will function as your series of follow-up emails or sort of nurture emails. Um, and again, you can add like as many as you choose or make sense for you. In this case, I've just added two, but I'll show you this first one just as an example here. So, you know, you've delivered your first email with the freebie, with the form link for your client to complete. And then let's say you want to follow up with them a day after. Um, and so this is where you can sort of set that up. So again, we're going to set the module to unlock at a scheduled date. And in this case, I've chosen one day after they enroll, but you could, you know, totally customize that. Again, you have all of these options here. Um, so you can see what makes sense for you. And then again, we're putting the email content into this template here. 
In this case, I've just done a really simple sort of touch base asking them what their biggest takeaway was from receiving the action plan uh, from the assessment they completed. And then uh, again, just always making sure to hide the view module button in every single um, one that you build out to ensure this is email only, okay? So just going done there. Um, so that's that's basically it. So you can then go in and you can build out um, and add as many modules as you want. That will again function as each um, you know each email. So you can really in that way build out a series of emails. The next one I have here is set to go out three days after they uh, opt in to this freebie. So you can sort of build that out, and then you can you know lead them. Um, into a paid offering, you can start to, you know, market a paid offering to them, um, provide links for them to, you know, maybe book an, a discovery call or, you know, book some time to chat with you about your program or whatever it might be. You can sort of utilize these module emails as a way to um, sort of funnel them into a paid offering. And in that way, it functions really nicely as um, a lead magnet or a freebie um, that you can, you know, use right and practice better you don't have to use any other platforms um so that's about it um, with this example i hope that was helpful for you those are the steps to create an email only program to deliver a form as a lead magnet or a freebie as well as how to add a series of follow-up emails uh, let us know below what you think of this hack video and uh, we will see you back for the next one